John Gaxi here with another episode of 10 Minute Real Food and today we're doing a caprese sandwich so stick around so you can take a look at how I do that. So we're getting started here with a caprese sandwich and this is a little, uh, just a little, you could use it really as a dip or as you'll see I'm using it as a sandwich and I'm getting started here with the, with the garlic and the reason is because we're making a pesto as you can see here we have some basil and the reason I'm starting with the garlic is instead of putting raw garlic I'm gonna roast it, but since we're only since we only have 10 minutes, we're not gonna oven roast it. We're going to do a 10 minute roast. And what we do for that is essentially you just grab the garlic here and you get it out of its out of its shell. And so all I did was just pound it. And you just want to make sure it's nice and crushed, as you can see there. And we're putting it in a in a pot there small pot and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. I just wanted to have something to be able to roast with. And you know what? I'm actually going to do uh, another smaller piece. We're just going to crush that to our surface here a little bit. Take it to the stove over here. I'm just gonna put it on about medium, medium high. Can't get the right one. Medium, medium high, and once I hear it, once I smell it, really I'll know it's ready. So we just wanna get that started so it gets done. Next, we're going to start with the pesto, and that's, we're gonna take our food processor here, we'll put in the basil. Now this is uh, some of the basil I have in, in my garden, but you can just get some store-bought basil. It's just, just a regular Italian basil, uh, nothing, nothing special. Just put it all in here. And then we put our seasonings. So we're gonna put some salt. Some salt in here. We're gonna put, um, and you can use whatever kind of nuts. I, I like to use some of these walnuts. They tend to be very inexpensive and they have a mild flavor so they they uh, they go very well with the, with the basil, but you can original basil pesto goes with the, is made with pine nuts. Uh, those tend to be a little bit expensive, harder to find. You can use almonds, you can use cashews, you can use pecans, but in this case we're using um, walnuts. Here, and we're just going to give that a pulse. that alone because we're waiting for the garlic. Now we have some tomatoes and these are great tomatoes. You can use cherry tomatoes, you can use uh, regular sized tomatoes, but these will make it much easier for our sandwich as you'll see right now. Let me cut these here pretty quickly. And I'm making enough of, for about two sandwiches or, or one big sandwich if you will. So we're just going to cut those here. And this is a pretty simple sandwich, but it's very tasty. It's fresh ingredients. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a lot of bowls like I did last time. Not a lot of waste like I did last time either. Or some of my other episodes, I should say. So I'm just chopping the tomatoes here. And also, I am going to use some sun-dried tomatoes, which is also a, a nice added bit of flavor. Now, the sun-dried tomatoes, you can get them canned. You can get them at a deli section. Most grocery stores have a deli section where you can buy uh, olives and by the pound. You can buy sun-dried tomatoes. Some of the sun-dried tomatoes come in water. Some of them come in oil. I uh, the ones that I have. I'm just gonna add a couple of them. As you can see, these are from a, uh, the deli section. Just add a couple of them, and you can chop them up a little more if you don't like such big pieces. And then lastly, let's see how our garlic is doing. So as you can see here, it's sizzling a little bit. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. I want that to cook a little bit more, release those flavors. And then I have some fresh mozzarella here. And this one came in in round slices, but I went ahead and chopped them up because I used them this weekend. 
for something else. And I'm just gonna crush them a little bit more. Put them in here. You can hear the garlic in the background. So they're almost finished. Crush it a little bit more. Now, origin originally pesto does have cheese in it as well, so you could also put it in the pesto. Uh, normally you'd use a, a drier cheese, but you can also use this fresh mozzarella cheese as well. So that's, that's good enough there. Now, while I get my garlic, I'm gonna put this, this bread in the, in the uh, toaster. In the bread toaster. And so see, that's what you want. You want a little, so you don't want to burn it. You can uh, roast it as much as you'd like, but that's probably, as, that's good. That's good enough for us. And what we'll do is we will add it to the chute here. And you can even add that nice scented garlic oil in there. Not very hard, right? And then we want to continue mixing it here. And then you want to add a little bit more olive oil. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Mm, mm. And good in flavor too, and doesn't need any more salt. So what I do is I scoop it out. I add it into the salad here. I into our little mix. I finish it off with some olive oil. Give it some bind. And then uh, some Italian seasoning. So, you know, these are easy to find. You can use whatever you like. Just have some oregano, some uh, dried garlic, dried onions. Mix that up. Let's see, got our bread in there. And a little bit more. You kind of go with your desired consistency. If you like a more smoother pesto, you can mix it more with some more olive oil. You can even put in some lemon juice to give it another kick. I really don't like to because I like that strong basil flavor. And if you like a drier one, then you just you know use a drier cheese or use a, uh, a drier um, consistency when it comes to the olive oil. So we're done with that. Now let's wait for our bread over here to be done. Um, we're going to be using prosciutto. Prosciutto is, a, is like an Italian ham or an Italian bacon. It's, it's, it's uh, cured. It may look raw, but it's not. It's cured. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little saltier. It's much, much thinner than regular ham. It tastes very good. goes very well with most Italian dishes. And uh, if you don't like this or you can't find it or you're not a big fan of it, you can always use regular ham. You can use salami. You can use um, uh, bacon. You can use um, Canadian bacon. But essentially, you can use any of that. I like prosciutto, so we'll use prosciutto. We have the bread here. Now, I don't. I prefer uh, either a ciabatta or a sourdough bread, but since I don't have that, this is what I had today. I just went ahead and used this country potato bread. And what I do, as a matter of fact, I put the prosciutto on first. So you'll see here, put two. And then I slather some of this nice little caprese salad. Now, caprese salad in Italy is just essentially olive oil, tomato, basil, Uh, prefer preferably fresh mozzarella cheese. So I went ahead and turned this into a, a quick 10 minute meal. And there you go. You can put another piece of bread on top or you can slice it and eat it that way. You can eat it with chips or whatever you'd like. But essentially that, there you have it. You have a nice little, little slice that I have here. Italian. Minute caprese. Let's hope it comes apart. Let's see. Uh, 
10 minute. Okay. And there you go. 10 minute Caprice sandwich for you. Kind of messy, but it's very good. Here, you can have the other slice. Mm. 